It's interesting because this is my second marriage and like a lot of people have asked me, like more senior people have told me that it's, it's pretty amazing how I still believe in love because they will expect that you might be scarred or you might be afraid to fall in love again. But for me, the first one which didn't work, I think it was mainly also because I was very, very much younger then. And I, I felt like I was just sailing through life. Like marriage was a natural progression because um, we were together already for a substantial number of years, like five, six years. And I thought, you know, okay, you know what? Um, let's get married. Everything changed when we got married then. And so things didn't work out. It, it took a turn for the worse. So unfortunately, I had to let that, that part of my life go. I think that taught me a huge lesson to always be conscious and be present at every point in my life. To not just sail through life just because it is a natural progression. The failure of my first marriage has never deterred me from loving again, from investing in someone again. Of course, there is a part of me that, that really, really hopes and prays that this would work out and just be the one for life. And I, I am, I'm actually quite sure that it will be. My mom is an amazing woman who really loves us unconditionally. And as a family, we've been through a lot um, from the days where we would have to squeeze together in a room and also when my mom had to work three jobs just to support us studying and where she, when she had to give up her entire life savings just for me to start this business where you know back then online shopping was unheard of but she chose to believe in me even to now my mom has showed us what unconditional love is one trait which i dislike most about people is when they're impolite this world could do a lot more with people with manners, people who are polite and people who are kinder to one another. A little compliment can really go a long way. That's why for me, I make it a point whenever I experience great service, whether it's on a plane or in a restaurant, I make it a point to ask for their feedback card so that I can comment the particular stuff. The biggest misconception about me, that people, I don't know what people really think about me. I, I, I honestly don't know. I've never been that afraid to show this um, louder side of me where I'm not so like gentle and not all that poised and sophisticated. I think these are words that you don't really associate with me. And on social media, you cannot really tell a person's character or demeanor. Maybe just they expect me to be more serious, but I, sometimes I'm not so serious and, and more energetic. I believe very much in loyalty, um, whether is it in relationships or anything else for that matter. I think um, yeah, loyalty is something that I would not think twice about. Yeah, being, being faithful and truthful to my relationships and the people that I'm accountable to, and that includes like my staff. Well, I don't wear pyjamas for sure, neither do I wear like a sleeping dress but for me, I just wear an oversized singlet with like, kind of like short shorts, like workout shorts. I would love to know what you wear. 